I've been involved with the Mechanics Institute now for about 25 years. It was inaugurated in Ballarat in 1859. And so we had a good um, idea of what was around because they never threw out anything. They kept it all and um, came across a lot of very good items, including in that was the Von Mueller collection of um, specimens which um, were donated to the Institute by Von Mueller uh, when he first published them as a combination of all the plant specimens that he collected or uh, was associated with in Victoria. And um, they came out in three volumes and he presented them to various organisations like ours who were um, uh, connected with the public who could come and look at these and with educational type uh, uh, organisations as well. And they were published in three volumes. And uh, the first volume was pretty extensive and uh, they went out as folders with plant specimens, dried specimens uh, throughout. And uh, <coughs> they were distributed very widely. After that, he did a second volume, which uh, were more uh, of the uh, plants he hadn't put in the first volume, but were not unique plants, but more highly regarded. And uh, that was the second volume. Now, he decided after that again to uh, do a third volume. And these were only distributed to people who requested them or people who had been associated with, with the other two volumes. And so the com complete three volumes are in our um, archives here, just been restored. And uh, there is a fourth volume, which is a, a copy of the first volume, which came in from another Mechanics Institute that had closed. And uh, so we've got the four volumes, but only three volumes of his collections. Uh, one, the first one du being duplicated. Um, now we did find out a fair bit about these, and uh, the herbarium in Melbourne gave us some good advice about restoring them and uh, looking after them. Uh, they were uh, in a in a in a cabinet um, housed, housed vertically in calico bags when we first came across them. Uh, and um, so they were then put flat so they wouldn't, um, wouldn't get knocked about. And uh, they were only opened on the occasions when we really need to open them. But um, during that process of looking after them, we did put them all onto a database in our own uh, in-house database and we have a photograph uh, of each item uh, both as a JPEG and as a TIFF file. Um, so we've, everything has been photographed properly, um, put on um, disk and they're kept with our records um, as well as a, a written database.